like to pretend I'm someone else once in a while. <laughs> Who do you like to pretend to be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very powerful supermodel. <laughs> Awesome. And which supermodel do you really, like, which is the one that you... No, that was a joke. I don't even know which, what, what names of supermodels. I think I only know the Kenner chick. I don't even know her first name. I don't either, but... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So supermodel, so that's your yeah, new vision. Yeah. yeah, no, not at all. That was just a joke. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Andrew, how you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm fantastic. Oh, Thank nice. you very much. <laughs> um, I'm, you, you, you offer to, uh, to talk a little bit about all the stuff that you've kind of discovered on your own in the last... Or, um, uh, last six months or so that we've known each other. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about it if you share it with some other people. Sure. Um, you were talking, we, we were talking about, you know, how um, um, we've had some conversations in the in the past uh, where I've, uh, where you felt a little uncomfortable. Can you right. talk to me about what what happened there for you and, and what did you discover? Definitely. Um, I felt that, you know, you, you asked a lot of questions that I don't really notice that you, that I don't ask myself those questions. Um, and you made me think about stuff that made me feel uncomfortable because I wasn't really wanting to admit that I had certain limitations to, you know, my mindset. Um, so you were asking me, to, oh, what was the question that you asked me? Something about your job, I think? Um, or what do you want? Why am I losing my train of thought? That's fine. I forget the question that you had asked me. We just discussed it like five seconds. <laughs> So what was the question that I asked you? Was there a specific question that I asked you that made you uncomfortable? Um, oh, you basically told me I was putting limitations on myself and I didn't like that. I was the one who, you know, made my successes and made my failures happen and I was putting limitations so I couldn't progress. Um, so I went home and I thought about it a lot. <laughs> it really angered me for a while. <laughs> but then eventually I said I want to do something about it rather than keep dwelling in this negative feeling that I'm having. So. I started uh, thinking positively, made myself a vision board, and from that vision board, every day I told myself, "This by this date, this is going to happen. By this date, this is going to happen." And well, it did, thankfully. <laughs> and what were those things that you wanted to happen? I get a position that was making you know over sixty thousand dollars a year, something that I can work from home, have more flexibility, um, you know, spend time with my child, and all that came. And when did that come? Uh, about a month, I think, after after I decided no, I want to make a change. So but you, I don't think I was really ready for it just yet. Ready for like it a month ready, ago? Yeah, a month ago when I first started it. You know, I kept working on it over time. And then there was one point where I like, I need to get out of this position. I need to get out of this role. And then that's when it, it happened, like the next week. <laughs> so it's almost like you're building up the energy and your battery. Yeah. And you get to a certain point. And then it's like, now. Yeah. And then it just happened in... Within a week. <laughs> within Actually, a week. Actually, within a week, my, my current job gave me a raise. And then I got offered the job the next day, and I was like, oh, well, <laughs> yeah. When it rains, it pours? Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> when, it's, when it's sunny, it's like hot. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So you created yourself a vision board, and that kind of got you clear about what it is that you wanted. Exactly. After you got uncomfortable, you started asking yourself the questions. And some of the limitations you were mentioning, what were those limitations that you remember? Um, like it's what I can do, what people will accept me as. I can't apply to an executive assistant position because I don't have the experience for an executive assistant position. I kept putting limitations rather than just going out and trying it. And then I finally tried it and I got a good result out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good result. <laughs> I think it was the third person I you know, reached out to. So you called three people. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it happened, yeah. I remember when you came here, you were complaining about how how um, boring and how slow the office was. Yeah, and I said I'm going to make this this place at a busy busy rate and get people like talking to each other. And within three months, actually, it happened. It became what a full house, right? A full house. Yeah. <laughs> you had rented out all the offices. All of the offices, <laughs> and it maintained that way, which is nice. Right, and you came in thinking that, or. You came in consciously thinking that, or that no, was more I came, like... A... I came in thinking it was going to be like my other uh, location, which was really busy and really active, and it was really dead, and I didn't have much to do. I was kind of bored, and I said, I, I want more people in here, so I have constant work to do, and well, it happened. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> so you were actually living the life that you were living before, yeah. and because it wasn't here, it ended up being created by you. Exactly. How does that feel? Pretty good. Knowing that, like, I am I have the power to do it, I didn't really think that was what it was until you mentioned it to me. And then all these things that I kept saying I wanted and came to me, like, a month after, I was like, oh, maybe I do have the power to make things happen and create things. 
Well, you said you're going to be a supermodel. Or you oh, are. I die. <laughs> let's stay away from that one. That one's a joke. <laughs> but let's let's cover that a little bit because you're on this diet right now, right? Yeah, keto diet. The keto diet, yeah. right? And you've actually changed the life of a bunch of people here in the office. That's very true. I think there's like 20% of the occupants are now on the keto diet. <laughs> and there's been some fantastic results in their weight. Yeah. No. Give me one. You said something. There's a one number you said about. Oh, one guy lost 15 pounds in three weeks. In three weeks? Yeah. All because you planted a seed in their head. <laughs> yes, pretty much. All right. So you've created something that you're not only responsible for your own space, but you're creating new lives for other people. Very true. What do you think is making that difference for them? Maybe the passion that I have towards what I'm talking about and the belief that it's no, it will work and this is how well I'm doing on it. And they took on that role, maybe it'll work for me and it actually does. So it's working for you and you just say, hey guys, this, this is Try awesome. It, yeah, because all these people talk about these diets that are, are making them not eat certain foods. Instead, this diet allows you to eat a lot of abundance of food. You can eat as much as you want, just certain types of food. Stay away from the breads and the carbs and stuff like that and eat more healthy fats. And it's, there's more of a variety. So. so it's easier to do? Much easier. Easier to stay, stick yeah, with? Yeah, it's, it's, it's one that you can maintain afterwards. Okay. Yeah. So is that kind of true for the things that you've kind of accomplished now for yourself? Is It's about something that's kind of inside of your, uh, your wheelhouse mm -hmm. and they're kind of easy to do. And that's what you just keep doing? Yeah. But you just keep getting more money for it? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. How does that feel? Yeah, pretty good, <laughs> I'd say. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else you want to share? Um, well, thank you. <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're very welcome. Yeah. You know, my biggest my biggest issue here right now is that you're leaving. I know. <laughs> I'll be around now. Damn! I can't, I can't stay away. <laughs> I'll do my Costco runs and come visit. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Andrew. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy. <laughs>